Hello everyone, it's me again, Matsimus. We are back in the backdrop setting of me doing just a one-on-one -on -one video with you guys. And we are doing a product review today. Now, I have done quite a lot of, I guess, video footage or content on CBRN or chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear um, training and warfare and tactics in the past. And a lot of people have been asking questions about, you know, you know, what's your gas mask like? What's the name of the gas mask and all these sort of things. And, you know, with that being said, a lot of people have been kind of showcasing my content to other, you know, people who create the kind of equipment for this kind of training. And with that being said, I was a reached out and approached from Mira Safety or M-I-R-A Safety. And they actually produce their own brand of respirators slash gas masks. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, well, how are you going to review this, Matt? It's a gas mask. You're not going to be in a gas hut or anything like that. Of course, I'm not. And that's going to be kind of um, something that I'll have to, you know, think about doing in a in a different environment somehow. I don't know if that's going to be a possibility, but I am going to give you kind of a broad overview and, and specification of this product. I'm going to put it on and have a look at it. And you know me, guys, I do not review products that I don't endorse myself or have respect for to you as the viewer or follower because I get tons of stuff that people want me to review on my channel that I just say no. It's just not relevant. It's not applicable. It's pointless. I'm not discrediting my own uh you know, standpoint and experience and um, expertise to, I mean, I'm not an expert for this for sure, to make that very clear, I'm not a subject matter expert when it comes to NBC, um, but I, you know, it does, it is applicable to you as the viewer in my channel because I have done some content recently on, you know, gas mass, gas mass training, and especially me going into the gas hut with the Canadian Armed Forces. So, you know, they, they threw out a product to me, the CM6M gas mass respirator, and we're going to take a look at it today. First of all, we're going to do kind of a walkthrough of the packaging and how it looks. As you can see from a first-hand basis, it looks stunning. Uh, they did send me the respirator along with a spare canister. Uh, so we're going to kind of have a look at the packaging, have a look, see what it says on the outside, and then we're going to kind of crack it open, put it on, and put the mask on, and have a look at it. Because, you know, you never know if you are in the public sector, private sector, you're working in an environment where you need to use this kind of stuff, and you are not part of the military where, you know, it's issued to you. This is a perfect opportunity for you actually to go and potentially go and buy one um all the descriptions all the links to the product itself are going to be in the description box below so please feel free to go check that out click the link go check out the website from mirror safety if you have any specific questions to this product feel free again to speak to me in the comment section i will try my best to answer them for you and if not again click on the link go to the website they're going to have their own contact page that you can talk to so as I said before, I'm not a subject matter expert when it comes to CBRN or gas masks. Um, you know, I, I have done quite a bit of extensive gas mask training in the British Army and now Canadian Army. But this is a whole new realm. This is going into sort of their own private sector. It's been specifically designed for the sort of everyday civilian who can just go pick it up and use it as they wish. So today we are going to look at the CM6M respirator. Now, um, just in terms of packaging then. Um, it is very well made. It's uh, it's crisp, clean, um, you know, it's a professional company, folks. People don't make this stuff um, if, if they're not professional and they're not, you know, got some serious rep behind them. You don't design this kind of equipment if you don't have that kind of, you know, rapport um, to building these kind of products. So um, there is a warning here. It says proper use of this full face mask and deployed filled cartridges. You must read and understand the enclosed instructions. Strictly respect its limitations and warnings. Misuse may result in sickness and death. Users of this product must also be properly trained in the correct use of this product. Users accept all responsibility of necessary training. Basically, folks, that means is this company is not liable for you to go and wear this thing incorrectly and die <laughs> because this is serious stuff. And I mean, this is serious stuff. Now, what I do want to say as a disclaimer to this video is any information or any, um, I guess, informative uh, documentation you're going to see, um, you know, data, you've got to make sure you take this with a pinch of salt. I am not reviewing this product wholeheartedly. I'm basically giving you an overview um, because a review would mean I would have to put it into an environment where I could test its potential of reducing effects to me. For instance, um, the gas heart, just like uh, putting CS gas like I did in my previous video, which obviously I'm not going to do. So this is just an overview. It's not going to be a full review because I cannot do it and I'm not a subject matter expert to allow me to do it. So uh, here we are then. This is the six, sorry, the CM6M. Technology for protection, utility, and comfort from mirror safety. I love the fact they got the kind of the biohazard symbol. It's really nicely packaged, and you can even kind of see the kind of smoky haze on here. That looks really cool. 
Um, really, really nice package. It's not very heavy, and it shouldn't be, because, I mean, it is only a gas mask. You're not going to be wearing it like a brick. Um, and we also have a spare canister. This is the NBC 77 SOF Special Combined Filter. Again, some warning symbols on here saying that, of course, it's got to be dry, kept out of the rain. Um, can't go any lower than minus 5 for storage and can't go any more higher than plus 30. So we do have a canister for it. So let's kind of just crack it open here. The good thing is it does have a kind of a, a, a safety seal here so someone's tampered with it. And um, we're going to pop this open here. Okay, so inside the contents it says is um, the Mirror Safety CM6M Protective Mask and a canteen. So it actually comes with a canteen which will allow you to drink from because, of course, when you're using these kind of things, you're in the environment, you're going to have to need to drink. And you can't take your mask off to drink, folks. That's not how this works. Um, okay, so, again, the packaging is outstanding. Uh, nicely sealed. That's always a good start. Air sealed bag. Okay, and with kind of a spongy foam insert. So we'll just put that to the side for now. And then, of course, we do have the canteen. Now, the canteen, as I said, is kind of specialized. It has a rubber cap here. Um, just like I did in my um, Canadian Armed Forces training video, uh, the water bottle can be connected to the gas mask via a tube. There's the seal, the kind of valve seal, to allow you to continue drinking. So that's pretty cool. Um, and of course, the most important part, if anything, inside this box is the instruction manual. Um, it does have a warranty card here. Um, in order to activate uh, the extended 5-year warranty, you must register your product within 30 days of purchase. If extended warranty is not activated, the standard coverage period is 1 year. So there you go, the warranty standard is 1 year, however, if you uh, activate this product, you're going to have a 5-year warranty, which is really, really important. Um, now, the technical specifications, all the heavy-duty stuff, the kind of intensive data that I can give you, I'm going to do a little bit later on in the video. We're going to run through actually putting it on first and see how it feels. Um, and applying the canister, but what I will do later on in the video after doing this kind of initial run through is to kind of break down and some data so you guys can actually see exactly um, what's involved in this gas mask. So we'll put that away, we'll close the box up because again I think the, uh, the box looks outstanding and we'll actually go through the gas mask itself. So we're going to crack the top here, it doesn't look like it has kind of a any kind of easy way to open it, so I'm just going to kind of rip her open here. And as I said, it is air sealed, which is pretty imperative, not only for the fact you want it fresh, but you need it dry. It does have that ooh, pretty heavy duty rubbery smell, but that's pretty expected when it comes to something like this. And the protective kind of bubble wrap that we have here too. Now this, folks, you can already tell straight away, this is an intense professional gas mask. Now I'm not saying that the army issued ones are not professional or intensive, but this, you can tell just from the, the, the trim almost, also the... The overall construction of the unit is very well made. It's it's very crisp, very clean. Um, you know, you can tell this thing is not messing around, which is cool. Now, again, I, I don't I don't BS here, folks. Uh, just because the company said me some, sent me something doesn't mean I'm going to be like, oh yeah, it's the best thing in the world. We're going to run through this thing as if uh, as best as I can. Remember, it's not a full review, but it is going to be an overview. Um, so a very similar strapping system to that of the C4 respirator gas mask of the Canadian Armed Forces. Um, along with the S10 respirator, the British Army as well. Um, so kind of a, I guess, one, two, three, four, five strap configuration um, with adjustable buckles on each side, as you can see all the way around there. Um, the netting mesh is nice and served as a straight pad to allow some air because that on the back of your head all the time, it's not a great time, it's really not. Um, so I guess on the side here we do have our drinking straw. Um, I myself, uh, like I said, I'm fairly new to this system, so I've got to be careful how I, how I do all this. So there we go, there's the there's the cap that we pull off, and I presume, just give me a sec here everyone. Yeah, there we go, so there's the protective cap that goes over the top there. Kind of see that, and it uh, protects it. So that's obviously going to go into my water bottle. So let's uh, let's do that there. So there's my cap. Ooh. There. So that connects in there like that, we're going to pop it back out again. So yeah, if I want to take a drink, that's what I'm going to drink through. Okay, so that's be attached to my to my water bottle there, and then I'd be drinking. There's also a valve on the bottom here. You can see that I can twist left and right, open and close, which is really cool. Um, okay, so in terms of canisters, then I believe we can just like the other respirator that I've used in the past, swap between left and right. And currently, it is on a left hand configuration uh, or left side configuration. So at the moment of truth, I guess we're going to put this thing on. I'm going to hang up my. Uh, my water bottle for, for now though, we don't really need that on as of right now. My water bottle straw is, I guess. 
Um, one thing about gas masks, folks, if you've never worn them before, is it takes a bit of an adjustment to uh, get the right size. Now, this size, I'm not too sure the exact size of this one. Um, it does not say. Let's have a look. Um, size. It's all available in one size. So I guess one size fits all, which is interesting. We'll see how this goes. Um, the internal structure is very similar to that, again, of uh, some of the other gas masks you've probably seen out there. There's the drinking straw that's protruding there, so if you want to have a drink. Um, okay, so we're going to kind of stick this on here and see how we go. Uh, wow. <laughs> now, this is interesting because I don't know how well you can hear me, but it's... Uh, it's actually really comfy, and the interesting thing is that I have more field of view than I would with a standard gas mask that I'm used to with kind of monocle style um, lenses, which is great because it gives me, again, I can see more. My, my depth perception and my field of view is a lot better. Um, the seal is good. I should probably tighten up my straps here to make sure the seal is perfect. The straps adjust nicely, which is good. Sometimes you can have masks that the straps fight you a little bit. I'm hoping you guys can still hear what I'm saying. Okay, so the vent, the vent is really cool. Oh yeah. So you can't see it very well right now, but the vent is just under here. It's actually sending the airflow into my neck and down. Now, you can probably wonder why that's a good thing. One good example of this is if you're operating pieces of equipment like lenses or scopes, okay? If that air, that warm, misty air and cold conditions flutters up in, and goes out this way and up into your scope, it's going to mist your lenses of your scope or, your, or whatever kind of optics you're using. This is actually sending that hot, warm air straight down down and out, or literally down my neck, like, like just watch, watch my shirt here. So you can see the air kind of blasting through my neck, through my shirt there. Um, so that's really cool. That's a neat feature. And I can also tell that my speech is extremely unimpeded. Like you could, I can hear myself very clearly through the mask. And that's, that's pretty cool. You can feel... It's not uncomfortable. It, it's it's fairly snug for sure. It needs to be, but again, I, I'm I'm not having any problems with it being uncomfortable. It doesn't smell bad at all. Sometimes you get you know new gas mask with the rubber smell that's really intensive. This doesn't feel that way. And the most impressive part to me, honestly, with this mask so far, because this is the first time I've worn a kind of ex like an outside of the public sector gas mask it's really nice the vision is the best part like i don't have any obstruction in the central partition there with the kind of monocles there really really nice it seals perfectly no matter where i look sometimes when you wear these kind of masks okay they can break seal when you're looking in a certain direction there's plenty of room there for my big fat double chins um and again the two opposite side mask uh, valve points there if you wish to change the ports out. Here's the filter then, we might as well stick the filter on as we're here. Again, the filter is airtight sealed, nice and tight, that's a good sign. Uh, we might have to get uh, the knife out for this one folks, maybe I can get her open with the pen. Just give me a sec here, I'm going to crack this open. And then we're going to stick the filter pack on itself. Now the filter pack, We'll probably have a shelf life and a filter life, which means, yeah, so as I pull this open, you can hear that air rushing out. Uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, so there's all the air rushed out of that. Whoops. Okay, so there we go. A protective cap on the threaded portion there too. Like so, very similar to my other uh, respirators I've had in the past, and a, a kind of a paper fil filter pack in the middle, there you can see. So just like any other gas mask, we're gonna screw this on here. There we go. Again, really comfy, not too heavy. It is a little heavier than what I'm used to. You can tell it's sealing perfectly because when I cover it, the whole mask sucks into my face. This is really cool, guys. 
Really liking the vision, and also the... I feel on some of the other masks I've worn in the past, seriously, your speech is impeded more. And I don't feel that's the case as much with this one on. It feels a lot more like my, my voice is being sort of, I don't know, projected a lot more out of the front of the mask. The canister, I will admit, is heavier than what I'm used to. So it is putting a little bit of tilt, a little bit of weight on the side of my head here. But nothing that I think is too much. I think for prolonged periods, like extended patrols, just like any gas mask, it would probably be a little tiring. You could probably, if you had the ability to change to the other side, you should or could. Uh, but it is a little hefty of a filter pack, but that's okay. But seriously, I really like this mask. The most key things I'm really enjoying about this mask so far, like I said, the speech, the vision, and, and you know, a lot of masks are going that way now, away from the monocle size type of lenses. And the venting from the, the bottom port here, I think that's awesome that it's jetting literally away from anything that I'm going to be operating in front of me. That's that's pretty important to me because the worst thing when firing your rifle with a gas mask on in cold environments is that mist is getting like projected out the front and it's kind of filtering into your lenses and it just steams up your, your lenses. Not much you can do about it. With this, it's kind of sending it into the clothing and the material, absorbing that moisture and that mist and that kind of steam. Which I think is really cool. Direct porting. That's really nice. Of course, I do still have my straw here. And uh, if I wanted to have a drink, like I said, I'm just going to kind of plug it into the port here. Just like so. And have a drink. There we go. I'll be just drinking as I go. I'll pull the little straw out. So this isn't actually a valve. I apologize. I think this is actually to a... Yeah, so this is actually moving the straw internally. There we go. So if I wanted to have a drink, I would turn this valve... And inside of here, it's moving the valve into my mouth, right? I turn it back, the valve is taken away from my mouth and secured out of the way. So that's really cool. And it kind of hooks back in, it's not really a clip, there's like kind of a, a pin here. And there's a little latch on the end, and you kind of just latch it on. Which is nice, you don't have to try to force it in anyway, I should really cl close that up before uh, storing it. That's bad drills. There we go. Nope. Getting there. Nope. It's a little fiddly, I must admit. There we go. And we're locked back in place. So, overall, guys, really, really nice. The, the, the water bottle itself, the canteen, is of high quality. Very similar to the canteen I've had in the past. Okay, you can see the, uh, the one-way valve there. To prevent uh, any of that nastiness getting inside. And it just threads back on like that. It looks like a one liter which is pretty good, maybe maybe not a one liter, I'm not too sure. The only cons I have with this mask, the canister is hefty, um, and it feels like it's trying to pull my head a little bit more to the side. Overall, I, I don't really have any other negatives. Um, we're gonna take it off. I don't really have any other negatives, it feels amazing. Now as you can see from me taking it off my head, I don't have any kind of tight marks. There's no red patches on my head where it's been super tight. Uh, it fits really smoothly, really comfortably. The, the, you know, the headband is super comfy. The straps are nicely adjusted. Um, a really nice respirator, folks. A really nice gas mask. So this is the Mira CM6M. So anyone who's going into the sort of police service, um, you know, or even just need it for working environments that are hazardous, you've got to seek a professional. This is the key here. Do not take this video as kind of hearsay. I would much prefer you go seek professional advice for the environment you're going into. But if you feel like you need something that's going to be of a high quality and high standard, I would strongly suggest you check out Mirror Safety. Um, you know, as I said before, I don't just endorse anything, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's not what I'm about. Um, you need to you need to really take into consideration where you're going to use this, what environment you're going to use this in. And I think just from the, the overall kind of overlook of this thing that I've looked at so far, the quality is outstanding. Like everything is crisp. There's no sort of excess rubber, you know, like little little trimmings where they haven't trimmed off. Everything is tight, neat. There's no kind of creaking in the plastic. It's it's solid built. There's no sort of there's no give anywhere. Um, the lens is crystal clear. Um, I'm curious as to whether or not this is kind of shatter resistant. I'm sure it is. Um, the netting and the, and the straps themselves, again, high quality. You can tell that the elastic isn't kind of going to run out 
um, and, and break on you in cold conditions. I'd be curious as to see what conditions this could operate into, how cold it could operate into. Um, and, and the voice projection is amazing from this speech uh, device at the front here. The voice, you can it just sounds like it's going further than it would with some of the other masks that I've used in the past. Um, if I wanted to, of course, as I said, I could change this canister over to the other side, which I'm not going to do right now. Um, I would just have to change the ports out. We're not going to go through the instructions of operating it too heavily. As I mentioned, this isn't really a video to tell you how to operate it. I'm sure if you actually checked out Mirror Safety's website, you're going to see a lot of different... Uh, a lot of different, you know, options for how you can set this thing up. Um, so this is a special combined filter. I'm curious as to what that would really initiate. But we will go through the specifications right away here. And uh, let's take a look at this mask in a little bit more in-depth of the Mirror CM6M respirator. So guys, if you do wish to purchase this gas mask, please feel free to check out mirrorsafety.com. The link is in the description box below. I have to say, this is an outstanding piece of equipment. A lot of quality and care and effort has gone into producing this respirator. And if you do want to purchase it, it is retailing for around about $220 right now, which is an extremely respectable price for something that literally could potentially save your life if you're using it in that kind of situation. Just like anything, you never know if you need something until the very last minute that's really important and uh, you don't want to be left behind if you do come into situations where you may need one of these things so go check it out um, and if you do wish to uh, you know leave a like or a comment for this video I'd really appreciate it. any questions that you may have I'll try my best to answer best thing to do though is go check out that website have a look around there's other products on there too that uh, may you know appeal to you that aren't exactly like this mask but I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you again next time all the best bye bye